in the figure shown ab is a plane mirror uh, of length 40 cm okay of length 40 cm place at a height of 40 cm from the ground there is a light source s at the at the point s on the ground find the minimum and the maximum height of a man required to see the image of the source if he is standing at a point a on the ground okay as shown in the figure now first of all let me draw the diagram over here of the mirror over here and there is a source which is situated at a distance of 20 centimeter from the mirror okay now first of all understand that okay if the person is standing at point a okay his distance is 60 centimeter over here uh, his distance is 40 centimeter over here okay now first of all the source is kept at this point okay the source is kept at this point the light ray will pass like this and after reflection it will arrive at this point okay it will arrive at this point okay that is the point a okay that is the point a so this is the minimum height of the this is the minimum height of the man that is required in order to see the image okay in order to see the image this is the minimum height of the man that is required okay let us calculate this height now first of all both these triangles are similar because angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection okay angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and over here the both the angles are over here this angle says 90 degrees so both these triangles are similar okay so i can say that now this height is 40 okay this height let this height be unknown which is equal to x okay and uh, this distance is over here 20 okay and this distance entirely this distance will be equal to 60 centimeter okay so basically i can say that 20 by 40 will be equal to 20 by 40 will be equal to 60 divided by x okay so x over here will be equal to 120 so from the ground so now this x is equal to 120 okay so if i say this distance if i say this distance this distance is given as 40 so that so the height required will be equal to from the ground the height required will be equal to 40 plus 6 40 plus 120 which will be equal to 160 okay so the minimum height required will be equal to 160 centimeter this is the first case okay this is the first case where the minimum height required is equal to 160 centimeter let us find out the maximum height in order to get the maximum height i will use the same diagram but instead of the lower part of the mirror i will take the upper part of the mirror that is the source is situated over here okay and from the upper part it is getting reflected and it is arriving at this point okay again the same thing over here okay so again this forms a similar triangle over here okay this forms a similar triangle over here of the base and of the uh, of the base and of the uh, other height of the person okay so let this be point b a b okay again this distance if you consider from the ground point this point b was at a height 40 so point a will be at a point a t okay so at the point uh, at the point b it will be at a point a it will be equal to 80 centimeter is the height okay this is again 20 this is again 60 the horizontal distance or the on the distance on the x axis is not changing let this distance be y over here okay so again i will use the same formula 20 divided by 80 will be equal to 60 divided by y okay 20 divided by 80 will be equal to 60 divided by y so if i calculate the value y will be over here 240 okay y over here will be equal to 240 so the total height from the ground now this height is over here is 80 so 80 plus 240 will be equal to 320 so the minimum height required is 160 and the maximum height required uh, that that the source can be seen is 320 okay and the unit will be i think so in centimeters yes everything is in centimeter so it will be equal to centimeters